Today, we're gonna to be covering the brand new hack the box easy rated machine known as late <clears throat> it was released just today and in this video I'm gonna cover from the top to the bottom several things to help you get through this machine all right I just have a disclaimer that I have not started this machine I haven't turned it on I haven't even done an nmap scan I haven't created a private instance I have done nothing because I don't want to be biased in the information I communicate in this video with you. So, starting from the top, I want to talk about a couple tips to help you through the box, review the stats as the box has been out for one day now, speculate what might be going on based on the name of the box, and then just to talk a little bit about, you know, what I think from the forum post. All right, let's talk about top four things to help you with this box. The first one is going to be work with some friends. So whether you got cousins, neighbors, family members, your partner, colleagues, people in your local steer or study or peer group, work with them if you can. Because let me tell you, when you work with people on a hack the box machine, it really brings the morale up, it motivates you, you have someone to bounce ideas off, and it's a generally a lot more fun. Second tip, use the hack the box forums. Generally the community is very helpful and if you ask, you shall receive more often than not. Thirdly, jump in Discord, Ipsec or John Hammond. Of course, we'd love to have you in our Discord, but it's a great place again to ask questions, bounce ideas off someone, and get a little feedback to make sure you're not too far off the beaten path. Fourthly, subscribe to our channel. After this machine retires in three months, I'm gonna have a write-up with not only a uh, verbal summary of 60 seconds, just like in my other videos, but I'm gonna have an engagement flow map where you can see from a high-level summary the path illustrated from the start all the way to root. All right, let's go ahead and review some of the stats for day one. So we have a machine rating of 3.8. So I can almost guarantee you what this means is the machine was CTF-like and had some type of custom exploitation that the general community didn't entirely like because quite often machines with higher ratings tend to have more real life like experiences. So if we jump over to statistics, we'll see, of course, that the box is heavily rated towards CTFs and custom exploitation. But that's fine. I enjoy it because it always teaches me something new and pushes me to that next level. We can see we have 130 user owns with 99 system owns. Um, of course, the machine has been out for eight days now. Um, we can see that the user blood was completed in seven minutes and 15 seconds by Cymex 73. So congratulations Cymex 73, way to go, that is awesome. Uh, and again, for the system blood, Cymex 73 comes in again at 15 minutes, sorry, 16 minutes and scoops it up. So congratulations Cymex. I really like to see that because it tells me if somebody got it that quick, then it's not gonna be at the higher end of the difficulty spectrum for an easy machine. All right, so now we're gonna jump into some speculation about what the machine might be about based on the name and the image, which is a clock, and the name late. Initially, it comes to mind as processes or techniques related to time. So perhaps there's some type of time syncing vulnerability. So an example could be maybe we have like a Linux update server or a WSUS server or a custom application that's pushing out updates. However, we have to trick the time, whether it's a future time or a past time in order to get that update. Perhaps we're dealing with cron jobs. Cron jobs often deal with timing because they run every so often. So perhaps we need to know when a cron job is running. And again, maybe we even have to trick the cron job to running in the future or running in the past. What if this was an SQL injection challenge and there was some type of timing involved where perhaps a table was being loaded with entries and we had to quickly get in there and reveal those entries before they were cleared out per se because a process exited or there was a backend script. Um, you know, maybe this is even to do with race conditions. I kind of doubt it, those are a little difficult, but my last thought would be some type of Kerberos clock synchronization. Um, I also know there's a hack the box machine called Kronos, which I believe did deal with some type of domain time offset. All right, let's talk about the forum posts here. So in the forums, we don't have a whole lot of activity, but there is some talk about the domain. So we of course know there's a domain here and that kind of sets off some, some uh, bells and, and uh, light bulbs to do with time, time sync issues. 
Um, you know, there's some mention in the forums about uploading files in different formats. So clearly there's, you know, some type of website where we're uploading information and we're trying to either get a web shell. Maybe we're trying to use local file inclusion to cap files on the back end. Maybe we're just using command injection um, or we're just trying to remote code. Um, you know, that's that's kind of where I'm at with this machine. I'm really looking forward to getting into it. I'd love to see all the viewers in our Hack the Box channel so we can work on, to, on this together. Thanks everyone for tuning in. See you in three months in the final write-up video for the Hack the Box Late Machine. Good luck.